This little camper's a better trendy. Oh, it's on a Fiat Doblo. And uh, oh, it's quite unusual. Look, it's got a cult. 1G. 1G, 1 gram. Could that be? 44,168 uh, euros. And uh, the biggest option is delivery. <laughs> so, if you don't want it delivered, then uh, that's great. Uh, you can save your money. Let's have a look inside. Oh, I've got any uh, details for you. 515 centimeters, 187 wide, and height's 268. So it's like the same height as most uh, uh, camper vans. We'll go to the back and then come forward. Right, all right, so a tiny van, but hey, you've got a lot of space in here. Look at that. Look how much space there is up there. Right, see all that. That's pretty good. And this way as well. Is that, is that visible? Yes, it is now. There, look at all that. So, lots of space there. Bed up there. You're going to park this in a car parking space. You've got a fridge. This is a camper. This is, uh, a lot of us call them cars. I do it, I mean, it's a bit, a bit spiteful on my part, maybe. But this is not a car, it's a camper. This has the right to be called a camper. Oh, and then you even get, so you could probably get three or four shirts in there as well. Oh. And three or four down there as well. So you can get about eight shirts in here. Probably get some food up there. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if I knew how to open it. Oh, it's like this, sorry. I thought it was a push more. Yeah, definitely get some food up there. You can put a bar there to stop the stuff falling out. Uh, what have we got down here? Yep, sink, Dometic thing, yep, well it's not exactly uh, out of the ordinary, but, and up here we've got a good sized bed, and are you going to get stuffy up here? No, because you've got a light there, a skylight that is, and a window there, and apart from that it's quite high, I mean I know um, cab over vans that don't have this much room above the bed. You might find it difficult uh, getting out of there when it's um, raining outside, but it's not impossible. Not impossible. You can sort of step over it, being careful not to uh, stand on the brake. And the table is bigger than in many motorhomes. I mean, motorhomes that are motorhomes, not a thing stuck on the back of a car. Fridge is the same as mine because it was slightly smaller. It's electric only. You know what? If I bought myself one of these when I started out, instead of that uh, uh, Malibu uh, uh, VW T4, uh, I'd probably still be in it now, I think. I mean, a bit, it's a bit of a squash for, for me, seeing all the junk I sort of carry around with me. But all the same, you know. It's not too bad. Not bad at all. So, if you want something small, now I don't know how uh, good it's going to be in practice, all the same, it's not bad. Let's see. Oh, Truma, iNet ready. You've got a bit of uh, electricity up there. Well, you can work out how to bring it in. And uh, hooks. Right, pretty nice. Let's have a walk on the outside. So that's for the toilet. That's your bicycle. Garage. Might be open.
If you want to carry anything sort of longish, you can get it in there. Okay, diesel has to go somewhere in there's your exhaust for the uh, the uh, the boiler. Right, so it's from forty thousand. I think that's quite a nice little camp on myself. Now, uh, another thing they do is this thing over here, which is the Iridium E-Mobile. Um, it's the world's first electrically powered camper van. And you can see that in another film. I mean, the, the two things may not look as though they go together. Um, a 200,000 uh, euro um, camper, a motorhome with this rather comparatively cheap, unusually looking um, car with a camper extension, but they do them both. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you find that of any interest, uh, please do subscribe and you may, if you uh, get any benefit from what I'm doing, then please do consider uh, supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.